Phoenix Bakelite Open Comb Slant Razor versus the Fine Super Light Slant Razor. Let's check it out. Welcome back to another shaving video and today I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the Phoenix Bakelite Open Comb Slant Razor and the Fine Super Light Slant Razor. Now the reason I'm doing this comparison is because both of these are a plastic type material, both very light and both slant razors and uh, I saw some people put in some discussion trying to put them side by side so I am going to be doing a comparison for you today I'm trying to look at all aspects of the razor so I'm going to start off with the packaging for the fine super light slant razor it comes in a very cool awesome super collectible looking box I really do like it it's printed all over has instructions on the back um, definitely cool. On the inside, it has a nice protective insert for the razor that it comes in so that uh, it arrived absolutely safe and sound. I'm trying to get it out, but it's not going to, but it's in there. Um, also, with the Phoenix Bakelite, beautiful box that it comes in, also printed on each side. Okay, really, really, really nice. Uh, the Phoenix Bakelite also comes with a nice set of instructions. So only difference really in packaging wise is uh, the instruction set that comes along with the Phoenix Bakelite. Okay, kind of an extra touch there. Uh, now, as far as price, Phoenix Bakelite $19.95 and the Fine Superlight is $30. Um, so there is a pretty big price difference there. I'm going to start getting lathered up uh, with the fine super light. Now, the material on them, um, even though they both feel plastic, uh, they are different types of plastic. The fine super light is an ABS plastic that is uh, molded, which is more of a modern kind of polymer uh, that you see fairly often with lots of plastic products. Uh, and then the Phoenix obviously is made out of Bakelite, which was a very vintage, early form of synthetic plastic. Um, the fine super light is, I believe it is modeled after uh, some old like uh, Italian or vintage slant razor. I, I don't really know the exact model, uh, but the Phoenix is based off of the facon. Bakelite razor, um, but they're both both made out of a plasticky material. So now, as far as weight, the fine 15 grams, the uh, Bake Phoenix Bakelite 18 grams. Now three grams, it really is not much. I mean, we're talking about just I, I can't even notice the difference uh, holding the two side by side. Both have nice handles. Um, you know, so you can get a good grip on them, slanted heads. Now, as far as the length, the Bakelite is three and a quarter inches in total length. The Super Light, I don't know the exact, uh, they listed it in millimeters, but I can tell you just by looking at it that the Bakelite is a hair longer, just a hair. Okay, uh, diameter of the handle is very similar and all that stuff. Now, uh, looking at the blades, the Phoenix Bakelite is open comb and has quite a bit of blade exposure however the actual gap between the top of the blade and uh, the base plate there's really not a lot there okay there's just not a lot of gap there looking at the fine as you can see there once we get this focus not as much blade gap okay how, or blade exposure, sorry, but the blade gap is fairly significant on the fine slant. So there's quite a bit of blade gap there. Um, also to be noted, both of them have standard handle threads, so you could interchange these handles with uh, you know, another handle of your choice. So uh, pretty cool there. The way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna shave uh, half the face with one and half the face with the other. Um, in case you're wondering, the soap I'm using, this is a Drive from Soap Commander Leather Vetiver Blend. 
All right, and the Bakelite I have been using quite a bit lately. Um, the Fine Slant I haven't used in a little while, um, but I used it quite a bit when I first got it. All right, so let's get started with this shave. Um, aligning the sideburns, not too hard. Some of you that might not be a big deal, but like I just got a haircut today, so that is a that is kind of a big deal for me. I want to try to keep them nice, at least for a little bit. The angle on the Bakelite, incredibly easy to find. Just mows down the hair. Very efficient. And I am working with two days of growth, so I'll finish up this half. Moving on to the other side of my face with the Super Light Fine Razor. Once again, uh, with this one, I'd say the... Uh, setting the sideburns on it so kind of like adjusting the blade to get like that even cut is a little bit harder um and i don't know why for some reason i just find that when i put like the head side by side it's almost like this one's bulkier at the edges um so it's a little bit harder for whatever reason for me to find it but still easily doable also light touch on both both cut very nice. One pass down, one side of the fine slant, and the other side, this side of the Phoenix Bakelite. I have to say, as far as closeness over after one pass, uh, there is no uh, discernible difference that I can tell. Um, they honestly both just did a terrific, terrific job. Um, I think it is important to mention that both of these razors have in them a brand new Astra blade. So they are both rocking the same blade for this. All right. Um, only notice that I, the only thing that I could really notice while shaving is that I found that uh, the Bakelite kind of had a, a less resistance. I felt like the razor just kind of uh, had a little bit more glide to it uh, as it was going over my face. I don't know if that's because of the open comb nature of it or what, but I just found that it was a little bit uh, faster of a shave. All right, across the grain, Phoenix Bakelite. Okay, second half, fine slant razor. I almost just out of habit crossed over onto the other side. So thankfully I caught myself and didn't ruin the entire experiment. Two passes down with both of these very light slant razors and uh, extremely, extremely pleased. Um, as far as the necks go, man, I almost have to say that after two passes just pass for pass, the Bakelite is a little bit closer of a shave at this point than the fine. I'm just feeling a little bit more resistance up here. And then also down here on the lower neck that I'm feeling over here. Um, but still both giving me terrific shaves. I am going to do one 
final pass against the grain. Uh, but I do have to say that I certainly noticed uh, I was trying to pay extra close attention to uh, whether or not you know that little bit of like uh, slowness in cutting with the fine slant. And uh, when I started out, you know, kind of up here, there it was cruising along on that second pass. But then when I got to where like the the bulk of my growth is, the thicker spots, I did start noticing that again. Now. Um, is that an issue? No, not at all. It's not discomfort. It's not uncomfortable. Um, it doesn't cause any irritation or anything like that. I just side by side, you actually do notice a difference. All right, third pass against the grain. Here we go. Final pass, find super light. Three passes down with both the Phoenix Bakelite and the Fine Slant Razor. And both of them have just given me an absolutely terrific shave. After three passes, they're both super close. Um, if I had to give one an edge over closeness, I would say I think the Bakelite did get a little bit closer. I can still feel just a tiny little bit there, but I mean, it is so minimal that it, you just can hardly notice at all. So um, let's quickly run down side by side packaging. Both of them have fabulous packaging. Uh, really, really like them. Uh, the weight is the same. Okay, so 18 grams, 15 grams, very, very difficult to notice the difference. A little bit longer, um, that's not really a factor for me. Blade exposure, this one's got a lot more blade exposure. This one's got a lot more blade gap. Um, now the big thing here, guys, is uh, the material, an ABS plastic, uh, Bakelite. Now Bakelite is just a little bit more collectible. I don't, I can't say that one's going to be more durable than the other, uh, but I do know that the Bakelite, it just feels really cool. Um, when I first got the, the Fine, I was a little disappointed. It just felt like a little toy that my kids are going to play with. Um, now if I had gotten this one first, would I have felt that way? I, you know, I don't know. I think. Um, I think the material does make a difference. So, um, but needless to say, I ended up really enjoying this one once I started shaving with it. Um, the big deal here, guys, is the price. $30, $19.95. So you're gonna save some money going with the Bakelite. You're gonna get an awesome shave, um, very collectible razor. You know, it's got a lot, a lot of soul to it. So if I had to absolutely pick a winner, I probably would pick the Bakelite. Now, um, as of right now, I checked on Fine's website. They actually don't even have the Super Light Slant Razor available right now. They are sold out, and it says it is pending a material change or a material review. Um, so I don't know if he's going to come back with this made out of a different material uh, or not exactly sure what's going to go on. So uh, in conclusion, I really don't think you're going to go wrong with either. But when that's the case, I'm going to go with saving money every single time. Uh, 10 bucks, I mean, 10 bucks, you know, uh, 30 bucks, that sounds to me like saving 33%, which is a big deal when you're buying lots and lots of this junk. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or if there's anything I missed, uh, please feel free to leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to it as soon as I can. And until next time, we'll see you with another video. Bye.